I just happen to have a business model right here. Solid as a Meet Starla, the new Blue Company business model for our phase two campaign. Attic living, model homes, and two weeks to build a house. I'm real estate expert Mark Magstead, and today we're reacting and breaking down all the house scenes from arrested development. There's no telling what type of real estate drama is about to go down. But before we get into it, if you want to learn a little bit about real estate and tour some awesome properties, make sure you hit the subscribe button. All right, let's bring on the first clip. Michael was feeling more generous about his family on the morning of the boat party. What comes before anything? What have we always said is the most important thing? I'm kind of curious what's going on here. It, it, it looks like they're having some sort of sleepover or camp out or whatnot. I mean, I remember back in the day when we got a new tent, new sleeping bags, and a new blow up mattress pad. The boys had to have it, so we threw it up in their room. Breakfast. Family. Family, right. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you meant the things you eat. This is Michael's son. George Michael. The great part is I have two boys, eight and 10, so there's many times kind of like, you know, what's the most important thing? That'd be like baseball, um, getting a new baseball man, um, you know, stuff like that, so I love that. <laughs> I mean, we've made nothing but sacrifices for this family, and tonight it all pays off, my boy. Tonight your granddad makes me partner. <laughs> to prove his dedication to the family business, Michael has decided to live here in the model unit of his father's latest housing tract. The model home is actually the spot that people can just come through. They usually put on like a cul-de-sac and then you're able just to walk into one, two, three, four, five different models, but it gives you a feel, they're furnished, and it kind of shows exactly what the home will look like if you do all of the nice upgrades. The guys live in the attic so that the house can still function as a pristine selling tool. I actually had a friend of mine that converted his attic for his kids to sleep in because it had that killer A-frame style. And he opened up a door, drywalled it, and they loved it. It was hot as heck in there, but they could care less. They felt like they were on like a fun little fort. So this is a little bit different scenario though. And when I do get that promotion, I'll finally be able to get you what you deserve, you know? Like a real home? This is a real home. <laughs> no, it's not. It's a fake home, son. You want the loops of the first. <laughs> so the interesting part about like staging of a property it actually shows exactly where stuff would look good. You know, people kind of look at this area or this space and they're like, what could I do with that? The model home just kind of shows you and staging actually just creates a, a, a feeling of warmth and you're like, hey, I could live here because of that. Oh man, look at that master bedroom, it's perfect. So that's why they do staging. Well, I believe it's a good plan. The next day, Michael was ready to wow the board with his new business model. As I told my brother, the president, if we start construction on a second model home, we can be cutting this ribbon within two months. And I said, that's why you're no longer president. Two weeks. Let's do it in two weeks. Hey! Oh. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Can we stop the music? I'm not as optimistic that we can get that done. You've seen shows where Lately, they have these awesome money guns that they're shooting money out. These dudes are fired up about nickels and pennies. They're scooping them up like they're $100 bills. You know what? If they're that fired up about that, that's why they want this thing built quick, probably cheap and fast. I don't know, we'll see. Joe, I, I think we both agree that we would do things your way if you had a business model. We have to look at this dude's outfit, the brother's outfit. I mean, he looks like he's maybe stuck in the 80s or the you know saturday night live type do you have a business model i am so happy that you asked me that michael because i just happen to have a business model right here Solid as a meet starla the new blue company business model for our phase two campaign Normally like a business model, you know, you have your numbers, you have architectural reviews, you have all of the building permits, you have everything completely dialed in start to finish. His idea of a model, you know, is great. Is it is a pretty girl promoting the house. I'm getting a little nervous about the rushing of construction because sadly in this market that we're in right now, th there is no rushing. Everything is delayed and pushed back, but you have problems, you cut corners and it, you just don't get a great finished product. So I'm anxious to see how this all works out. Blue Holmes, solid <laughs> as a rock. We'll see you at the ribbon cutting in two weeks. If my brother doesn't screw it up solid. first. Hey! Solid as a rock. 
solid as a rock, I'm hoping that they're talking about the quality of construction, not actually building a house on a rock. Okay, we've all made some sacrifices to be here, but we all want the same thing. I want to live here. I want to buy in some diamond dust. I'm just hoping to get mildly injured so I can get out of the army. Normally you have, you start with your architect, then you have your, your general contractor, you have all your subs, electrical, plumbing, foundation, drywall. These guys look like a hodgepodge group, like from the Bad News Bears or something that are just gonna put together a makeshift home. I don't even think they could build a dang fort, let alone a house. Bottom line is we've got two weeks to build a house. Doesn't have to be good, just has to look good. I just want my kids back. <laughs> and so the guys went to work. <laughs> two weeks, I don't see it happening. It's not enough time. Things didn't go smoothly at first. Obviously you fell forward because they didn't have any reinforcing. The framing obviously works all the way around the house and then you fill it in and it, it creates the walls and the structure of your home. But soon the project came together when Job stopped by. <laughs> now we're building a house. Yeah, I'm pretty proud. I so wondering... what do you think? Did I do this or what? Seems like your brother did it. My brother does what I tell him to do. I'm the president. Where's your pee? What? Oh, no, not again. I... So all of a sudden they have a finished product. I, I love how brother rolls up in the old Segway, rides right over the flowers, and is already taking all the credit. <laughs> and she's like, hey, where's your pee? I don't know. Let's see where the pee is. Hey, sorry for the my brother does what I tell him to do crap, but I want this to be perfect for when I cut the ribbon tomorrow. You're cutting the ribbon? I kind of thought that since I built it, I might go ahead yeah. and give it a... <laughs> okay. Can you imagine how that would look to the board? The construction worker cutting the ribbon. No, no. That's a job for the president. The funniest part about those segways, I don't know if you've ever ridden one. I personally have. It was fun for about 30 seconds, but it's, it, it's not the the most professional way to get around. And then also, really, your brother built this from the ground up and you're gonna do the ribbon cutting? I mean, man, you gotta, you gotta show some support of the family. The next day, the Bluth family prepared to unveil phase two. They're talking about phase two. So let's say you're building 400 homes. You build out 100 of those homes. Then you stagger it. The next phase will be phase two, phase three, phase four. It allows you not to have all of your money put into your inventory. So building all the houses without having buyers. It's a way of protecting your money and also securing your investment. Have you seen your Uncle Joe around? No, and I can't find that diamond dust that Aunt Lindsay bought for me. Oh, well, your Aunt Lindsay has probably taken it. She's just a taker. So this is your chance, huh, with the big ribbon cutters after all these years? Well, actually, I figured give Job a chance. You know, the guy doesn't get a whole lot of attention in this family. Ladies and gentlemen, the president of the Bluth Company, Gob Bluth. My brother wasn't optimistic it could be done. <laughs> but I didn't think wasn't optimistic it could be done for an answer. He's got his construction gear on. He's all geared up. He's ready for the ribbon cut. He's kind of pushing his brother underneath the bus and just like, listen, I did this, I did this all. But cool, unique stunts actually kind of build the buzz of the property. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you phase two of the Bluth Company, a house truly solid as a rock. So normally when you have a ribbon cutting, it's, it's you know, maybe a couple, three, four, five feet. It's not the span of the whole house, but I'm kind of assuming that was holding the house together. <laughs> but as it turns out, Michael was right to not be optimistic it could be done. <laughs> and Buster saw the chance to get injured enough to keep him out of the army. But instead, got a glimpse inside. I can't look at that. If they were trying to sell this house, this would create many different lawsuits. Funny show, <laughs> but talk about home building drama. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you binge watch this entire playlist and subscribe to my channel. That way you're notified every time I post a new video. Thanks so much for watching.